what's going on guys welcome back to another great day today we're gonna to be doing a real simple really easy video uh, we're gonna be installing some hood shocks on the Ford Bronco this is a wild track version now this kit here I ordered off Amazon it looks like a pretty nice little kit I uh, got everything out of the package already uh, I went with their carbon fiber black package here or at least look and these actually look really really nice uh, they do tell different color of carbon fiber and different color of gas shocks uh, which, whichever one I just chose these these look pretty nice um, it does come with all the hardware you need uh, the instructions are in color and are kind of vague uh, I, I think I know we're actually for the mount with you I'll show you guys here in a little bit as far as tools guys all you need is a 13 millimeter socket and a crescent wrench or some pliers nothing crazy uh, that is all you need for today uh, as far as the install we need to remove the hood and not remove it all the way just get access uh, behind the hood insulator here and it's really simple by just pulling on it you'll pop off these little clips here that's all that's holding it so we need to access the back of the hood here because we need to mount the top mount here on this top shock or hood shot, hood hole here and there's a little access hole back here that we need to reach this one and then I'll show you guys here in a little bit and then we need to access the lower hinge bolt back there that top one so that's the 13 millimeter socket so that will be a lower hinge uh, location uh, so let's go ahead and start by removing insulator clips so we can get access to that top hole all right so I'm just gonna use like a little prop to hood the hold the hood insulator back out of the way when I remove it all the way just in order to get access to this hole right here that's is where we're gonna use to basically use the install the top mount here uh, so in the kit you'll find this wire here so this is basically gonna hold our nut so it's, it's held in by electrical tape and I think it doesn't tell you in the instructions but I think we need to add a washer to this to the back side or else this is gonna go through that hole what I'm gonna do is basically just uh, grab a washer and I'm just gonna slide it in between here until I can see the hole and that should be good right there and then we'll go ahead and slide this through the hole until we see the washer in the back at least not in the back side and then we'll add a washer to this like so and we'll screw them together so i'm going to feed this through here and once i see this on the back side i'm going to go ahead and use this and screw it together you get nice good contact and it starts getting tight go ahead and pull that off grab your crescent wrench and I'm just gonna tighten this down nice and snug not over tighten it there you go to go ahead and install that you can go ahead and put this back together put our clips back in Grab a 13 millimeter socket. Once you break it loose, you can go ahead and get it off with your hands here. You gotta be very careful. You don't wanna drop this down the back side of the fender here. You're gonna be adding time to your install. Now we need to go ahead and add our bracket here. So we're just gonna simply put the bolt through here and just basically reinstall being very careful not to drop anything below like I said this are left and right you can't install the wrong side on the, uh, you can't install the passenger side on the driver side it's just it won't go on correctly so once you get the bolt started go ahead and just snug this back down go ahead and snug that down okay now these don't matter as far as left and right. So we're gonna go ahead and grab one. Now the top is basically going to be the bigger body. So the body goes to the top and the skinny end goes to the bottom. And simply just basically pop these in. So simply just push these in here. You can turn this to wherever you want. There it goes. 
and the top one. Now if it's out of the way, you have to basically unlatch the hood, push the hood up. Wow, this is gonna raise the hood up quite a bit. Grab our passenger side and install it the same way. I could just snap this in. All right, so one thing I'm already noticing is it props the hood up a lot higher than the hood prop. Like the, the gas shocks just open up the hood so much more. Uh, so you're short, this is gonna make it a little bit trickier, but let's go ahead and make sure everything's good. Go ahead and close it. Oh, then I slam it a little bit harder than that. Don't be afraid to. All right, got it closed. Go ahead and pop it open. Let's see how good these work. One handed, look at that. Oh yeah, one handed. I ain't gotta worry about using two hands no more. So yeah, like I said, I'm gonna link these out down below guys if you're interested in purchasing these. Uh, really nice kit, like I said, look at, look how much, I don't know if you guys can tell in the camera, but look how much more that opens. I should have done that before. But yeah, that opens it quite a bit more. I'm 5'9", I'm and I have to use I have to reach up pretty high. I don't know if I can show you guys here on camera. I have to reach up pretty high to get the top of the hood. So you're on the shorter side. This might make it a little bit trickier, but yeah. So you'll have to use the side, but I'm trying to open from the front. It's a lot higher. But anyways, yeah, I'm gonna link these out down below, guys. If you're interested in purchasing these. Uh, if you like this video, please like, please subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next one.